Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes with Mr. Graham. This episode is about prime factorization. Let's start the timer and try to learn something without, uh, you know, wasting too much time at home. Press play. There we go. Now prime factorization is when you have any number, you probably want to focus on numbers 1 through 50, such as 48 here at the top. Let me highlight it for you real quick. Such as 48 right here. And you ask yourself, um, well, what times what would equal 48? And there are multiple answers for this, but in this case, 8 times 6 equals 48. It's true. Check your calculator. And you want to keep the prime factorization going. So you would find the 8 and the 6, and you would ask yourself uh, the same question. What times what equals 8? Well, it's true. 4 times 2 equals 8. At the same time, what times what equals 6? Well, you can see right here. 3 times 2 equals 6. And what you'll notice is that numbers are starting to get circled. Uh, numbers like 2, 3, and 2, that's because they're prime numbers. They can't be broken up in any other way besides themselves and 1. You know, what, what equals 2? Well, 2 times 1 equals 2, and well, that's it. How about 3? 3 times 1, that's all I can think of, Mr. Graham. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to keep going with those. You would break down 4, though, into 2 times 2, but then, like we discussed a moment ago, you realize that 2 is a prime number. It doesn't have to get broken down any further. And um, you'll see that you're all done because all you're left with is uh, a bunch of prime numbers on the bottom. Your final answer wouldn't be that, though. You'd want to type something. You want to say, well, we've got a 2, and we've got another 2, and we've got another 2. And actually, Mr. Graham, I see one other 2 over here by itself. So that's actually 4 twos, count them, and then we've got a lone three. So the actual answer, the prime factorization is two times two times two times that other two, and then you go ahead times three. And if you check that in your calculator, two times two times two times two times three, you will go right back where we started at 48. Let's look at another example. Um, not 40, that. let's look at 40. <clears throat> uh, you might think to yourself, all right, what times what equals 40? 20 times 2. That's correct. That 2 is a prime number. Let's circle it. 20 is not prime, so what can that get broken down into? Oh, 10 times 2 equals 20. True. 2 is a prime number. Circle it. What times what equals 5? 5 times 2 equals 10. I mean, 5 times 2 equals 10. And uh, you've got two prime numbers here. Two is prime, and so is five. You don't have to go any further. You're all primed out. Let's write that number sentence at the end. Two times two times two times five. Two times two times two times five. And you've got a good answer right there sitting in front of you. Now, there is something you can do with these twos. You can combine them. You can turn repeated multiplication into a number with exponents. We'll talk about that another time. One more example, not exactly the same. The first one was 40, but it was uh, broken down into 20 times 2. Here we have 40 broken down into 10 times 4, another way to do it. And that's okay, because look, you can break down 10 into 5 times 2, break down 4 into 2 times 2, circle our primes, Got to know what those prime numbers are, guys. Two, five, a couple of prime numbers. And you might notice that our prime numbers at the end, a two, a two, a two, and a five, are the same prime numbers that we had before, a two, a two, a two, and a five, even though we did it a different way. And that's fine. You do it a different way, but you still come at the right answer. That's perfectly fine. Let's uh, end this the right way. Two times two times two times five. There you go. Let's do one more completely blind. Just me and you. Let's say, oh, I don't know, 36. 
Think to yourself, what times what equals 36? I can think of a couple things. One thing I think of is 6 times 6. Now I know 6 and 6, well those aren't prime numbers. So I gotta break them down further. What times what equals 6? Oh, that's our timer. Let me just finish it off. 2 times 3 equals 6. And since there's two sixes, you can do that twice. Hopefully you realize that 2 and 3 are prime numbers. You would circle them. And since we have two twos and two threes, we'd have a final answer that would look like this. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Thank you very much for joining us. We're past our timer. I'll see you next time.